do a wig removal. What's up? What's up, YouTube? All right, so I'm getting to do a wig removal, and I'm going to actually shampoo this wig and condition this wig. And I'm going to give this wig away. This is the wig that I put on last week. It's still on. We're going to do a wig removal using Wigs and Beauty. This is by one of my students, Jazz. So we're going to try her product. She also has an ultimate hydrating uh, conditioner. Give me one second, guys. I am getting my remover together, my ball hole remover. So I'm going to take this unit off. And I'm going to shampoo. I had to get a big towel because sometimes this can be a little messy, so I don't want to have any issues. Always use the remover. Give me one second. Let me get my other live going. Hold on one second. Let me get my other live going, y'all. Yeah, the color, it turned out so good. <clears throat> I'm actually going to do a video on, um, I did some testers with some box color from CVS. So I'm going to upload that ASAP and I'll get that unit away too. One second, let me get my other live going. I never went live on YouTube before. This is my first time. I don't install units, guys. Um, I, and that's why a lot of times, like, some of the information that you see, I'm just a teacher. I only teach. I educate people on, like, different uh, techniques. So I don't uh, do installs, but I do have a lot of students that do make sure you follow me on Instagram and on, well, on both my Instagrams, on the Hair Diagram and on Boho Lace America. And we actually post a lot of uh, people from New York on Boho Lace America page. second guys we're getting my other live going what's up what's up that's good angela what's up what's up what's up all right so this is the wig that we are giving away i have to take it off and wash it so i thought it was a good idea let me get my other camera on. this is the unit i'm gonna remove i kept this on all week and I'm going to actually remove this wig. Yes, this is a wig removal video. I'm going to remove this wig. This is the wig that we're giving away. Okay, I'm going to do a shampoo and condition with this um, removal. And I'm going to prep the wig and get it ready to ship to the winner. I'm going to pick my winner tomorrow. So, guys, be ready for that. It'll be tomorrow evening. I'm going to pick my winner on my Instagram. Make sure you're on the Hair Diagram Instagram. I'm going to pick the winner tomorrow, but I'm going to wash this wig up and sanitize it so that it'll be ready to ship to the winner. If you have not entered, too sad, too bad, because we already have all of the contestants. If you don't know the key things that you're supposed to do, if you already know and you forgot to enter, you can go ahead and enter, but I'm not giving out any more information on what you're supposed to do to win. Okay? So if you already entered, we're going to be picking tomorrow night about 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to do the giveaway. But right now, I'm about to remove this unit I have on and take questions. The wig is from the hair diagram. We don't have any in stock right now, but when we do, I will tag it. All right, so I am using, I got my little towel on because I'm messy. I'm using my bowl hole remover. Okay, the giveaway is tomorrow. If you already entered, 
you are good to go. This unit, we, I kept this on all week. If you do a proper install, this is what you're going to get. You guys have to stop using the hairsprays because that irritates. Okay, when you use the hairspray, they contain DMD, MD. They contain, um, uh, uh, which is an um, uh, ingredient that is um, cancer forming. It's for, it has formaldehyde. So that is why we got away from you guys using the hairspray. That's why you don't see me using the hairsprays anymore uh, doing the installs. You see me using the liquid gold. All right, you don't see me using that. But this right here, we put on last week. If you do the install properly, you're going to get that. But if you don't do it properly, you're not going to get that. I've been doing this over 20-something years, and I always get great results because I take my time. I was trying to think of something. Anyway, so let's spray it down. We're going to take it off, and we're going to clean it. Yes, I'm referring to um, the hairspray, yes. Liquid Gold, we restock that every day. We don't have a certain time, but we're doing the final, um, we're doing the final restock, which we won't have to go through this again until probably next year. Hopefully not next year either, but we'll be more prepared. I sure do mean uh, hit that hairspray. Sure do. It has <clears throat> formaldehyde in it. Most hairsprays do. You just gotta start, y'all gotta start paying attention two ingredients okay so this was the unit that i put on last week i'm removing it when you once you spray it don't start taking it off i think that's a lot of people's issue let it sit for a minute this is a dissolving agent it's not alcohol it's not baby oil it is a dissolving agent okay if you put alcohol on glue It'll loosen it up. You can put grease on glue. It'll loosen it up. But this right here is going to dissolve the glue. So if you did get some, like, on some of your baby hairs or something like that, you want a remover that is going to dissolve, not just greasy, okay? Yeah, so this was the install I did last week. We're giving this unit away. If you already entered, I'm picking tomorrow at 7 p.m. on my live. You have to be on my. You have to be present on the live to win. What boho products should you pick for water resistant? You can do the uh, active or you can do the uh, max. I have videos on my uh, live Instagram where I did it live, no editing, and I was in the pool with the active and in the pool with the max. It has to be applied properly. Yes, I do have several videos on blonde hair. You should go check them out. The link is in my bio on my Instagram. If you notice, let me say this about this one. If you notice, I'm not pulling, I'm not going under here because I know some people they spray and they just start manipulating. Like, don't do that, guys. Let the product work. Okay, you can't rush. You don't want to use alcohol. Alcohol is a no-no. We used to use that, but it's a no-no because a lot of people are going to overdo it. The nozzle is not for sale. You can get another, you're going to get the nozzle when you order with the max. All right. So you notice that I did not start manipulating anything. I just put it, I just sprayed it on there. All right. I'm going to spray it one more time before I start manipulating. I'm not manipulating anything. You have to understand that this is hair replacement. It was designed for people without hair. So if you don't have hair, you wouldn't have nothing to worry about. But I do have hair. I do have peach fuzz around my hairline, and I want that to stay there. Even though I have a big old head and I got all the room in the world, I still want my peach fuzz on there. What's up, hair physician? What's up? I got I got YouTube here. I got Instagram. I'm live Instagram and YouTube right now, and I'm recording this. So a lot of people are rushing when they're doing the removal, right? What you want to do, if you're working on a, a customer, you want to lay them back in the bowl and do just as I've done just now. You don't see me. I'm not manipulating anything. I just sprayed it. We have to slow down. We have to be patient because there are a lot of people who are wearing this who have hair, okay? So what you want to do is you want to allow this to 
loosen up. All right, and it's still pretty tight. This I put this on last week. It's loosening up. It's loosening up, but it's still tight. But we have to be patient, okay? This is not surgery, guys, all right? Because you will damage your, you could damage your skin and you could damage your hair, your existing hair. Stay away from the hairsprays, guys. It has formaldehyde in it and it is going to damage your skin along with you trying to use glue and cover up your uh, scalp with lace, okay? Don't use hairsprays. We, we did it. We found that that was a problem and we implemented the liquid gold. That is why we created the liquid gold. This is why the liquid gold is not in a spray can, guys. It's not in a spray can because those gases and things that you need for that uh, hairspray is going to uh, be cancer forming and it has formaldehyde. Okay? So that is why this is not in a spray can. Okay? We started using these when people started complaining about irritation. Okay? People started complaining about irritation, and we found that those ingredients in those hairsprays was the problem. That's why we created Liquid Gold, okay? And that is what I seal my cat with uh, now, okay, guys? So we a lot of people have been putting out a lot of information on um, the formaldehydes and the uh, DMD, okay? So you guys got to pay attention to what you're putting on your skin. So as I talk or whatever, now I can go in and start manipulating. You notice I didn't do it right away because it's, it's still pretty tight. You know, I'm new, I'm new to YouTube, uh, Lala. You got to help me out. <laughs> I'm still, I still feel like I'm new to YouTube. I'm still learning my way around. So y'all make sure y'all like this video. If you're on my YouTube, if you're on Instagram, make sure you guys watch. I'm going to save this live as well. So I'm still pretty tight right here. I don't want to rush this off. Thank you. <laughs> Do not rush it off. If it's not sliding, don't mess with it. If it's not sliding, don't mess with it. This is my first time going live on YouTube as well, guys. Do not. Do not, that's right, use the liquid gold on the ball cap because the hairsprays have formaldehyde and it has the DM DM in it. And there are people making copycat liquid gold that has formaldehyde DM DM in it too. So you guys got to start being careful as to what you're putting on you. What's up? I'm not a grandma yet. I just look like a grandma. Yes, we restock every day, but the final restock is coming up soon. I'll I'll do a post. So I, it's loose. I'm working my way underneath it. Taking my time. Right? You don't want to rush this off. You don't want to rush this off, guys. It's very important. Your skin... All of that. That's important. It's, I mean, you know, we trying to look good and we trying to, you know, keep up with trend, but it's super important that you take care of your hair and your scalp. All right. So this has been on for a week. I'm giving this wig away. It has, can you give me another towel? It has glue on top. I'm on three different uh, lives, guys. Right, it got product on here from the glue. I have this right here. I have glue on me. This is another thing. I'm really trying my best to get you guys to realize how important it is to take care of your uh, skin, your hair, and everything. Like you can't rush this. And I know alcohol makes it easier, right? I know alcohol is faster. It's just like um, uh, anything else. Like some people, are like, well, I like the hairspray. It go faster. Yeah, just like using the microwave, eating out of the microwave, it's faster. It works, but that don't mean it's good for you in the long run, all right? So, I have I have product right here. We're going to let this sit off to the side, right? Don't wet it. I'm not going to use alcohol on it or nothing like that. We're going to let this sit off to the side. I'm going to take a towel, and I'm going to take shampoo. I don't want to use alcohol. 
I don't want to use alcohol because if I use alcohol, it's a, uh, alcohol dries really, really fast, right? And if, if there's a piece of hair or something here and I take that alcohol and I'm rubbing, it's going to snatch my hair. Listen to me. If I take alcohol and I'm rubbing or whatever, it's going to snatch that, those hairs, okay? Also, alcohol will um, remove layers of your skin. So we stop, we stop using that. A couple years ago, we stopped using that. So what I'm doing now, this is actually my wig shampoo by Jazz. I'm going to take some shampoo, and I'm going to get this existing residue off. I'm going to get the existing residue off, okay? I don't want to use alcohol. We did that for years, and a lot of stuff that I'm finding as I'm developing product and working with my chemists, working with um, estheticians and things like that who helped me develop my product, I'm learning a lot of new things as I'm teaching you as well, okay? So we want to stay away from the alcohol, guys. It's going to damage your skin, all right? Thank you, famous daughter. That's my baby. She all My niece always in here helping me. What do you suggest for those of us who that's overdone it? Yes. So if you've overdone it, you need to allow your skin to rest. You need to get Neosporin and you need to rest. You need to go to a, a five by five closure wig because I know it's going to be hard for y'all to stop wearing them. They so addictive. Wigs are addictive. They're very addictive. So you notice I'm getting a, all of it is coming off with just the shampoo. This is just shampoo. Okay. Can you use LG to put my hair back before I put on the wig? What is LG? Liquid gold, yes. Okay, LG. Okay, we got acronyms. Yes, I am the creator of Boho. What do you suggest to get you over to the UK? So if you're trying to get uh, Boho products in the UK, Make sure you follow Boho Lace Europe. Boho Lace Europe. Yes, wigs are very addictive. It's hard. It's really hard. So I'm using shampoo to get the glue off of my hairline. Okay. I don't want to use anything uh, else. I don't want to. I have hair here. Uh oh, I had a, I had a, a bump. I got hair along here so i don't want to use anything that's going to soften it i just want to use the shampoo how can you get the wig you're giving away okay so if you miss that giveaway you're gonna have to get ready for a new giveaway because i i, I have to only allow like those people who did it in that time frame we have another blonde wig giveaway we're doing. I'm also doing a, um, I'm doing a wig. I'm working on a, a wig. I got to edit it. A wig where I colored it using box hair color with on a blonde wig. It says, what if I don't have that? I need to wash my hair every day. Um... You can use the boho lace jelly if you want to take your wig off every day if I'm asking, if, if I'm answering you properly. Okay, so I still have, I got, I got everything off this side. We just had a little bit on this side, like right here. So I'll just take my towel and get the rest of that off. It's just some right here. Are you using the skin protect? Oh, thank you, famous daughter. Yeah, you gotta always use skin. A lot of times, guys, let me tell y'all this. A lot of you guys have probably eaten up your skin using those that hairspray. I didn't realize until a couple years ago when we started the development of the um until we started the development of the liquid gold, I didn't realize how harmful the hairsprays were. I really did not know. I, I'm along with some of you guys that's finding this out, like. I found out a couple years ago. It, it's the hairspray. It's not. It's how it's being used, guys. It's not. Um, 
when it comes to the hairsprays, when it comes to damaging the skin, is how it's being used. You got to rethink about this. If you're using hairspray, generally you're putting it just on hair, right? So the damage comes in with the hairspray is because you're doing all of that contact on the skin, okay? So that is where the issue is coming in at with the hairspray. It's when we have all that contact, that direct, the, it's the direct contact of the hairspray to the skin that is causing the problem. If the glue is on your hair, you want to take the lace remover, spray it on there, and let it sit. Then you can take a comb. See, I didn't get that on my, because my forehead is so big. You can take a comb and kind of like pick at it. If you got glue on your hair, all right? Now, I got all of the glue off. I don't have any glue on my uh, skin, so I don't have to use the shampoo anymore. But we have glue on this, um, on here. So let's get this off, and I can answer questions. I got somebody helping me with questions, too. So I'm going to take a dry towel, all right? And I have the glue that was here. Yes, got to be, I don't want to say a specific uh, hairspray because people use different hairsprays, right? But majority of all of your holding sprays contain those uh, ingredients. So we, we got to be careful. It's a lot of this that I'm learning. Okay, so I am going to have a training. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this year or next year. I mean, I'm going to have a training. I'm glad you brought that up for private labeling. You won't have to do um, private labeling. I'm going to help you guys where you'll be able to develop your own product. Or um, uh, just I'll, I'll be able to help y'all with formulating. We, we're setting that up. All right, so I have the glue here. You see the glue on here. I'm going to start right here on this corner. And I'm just going to take this towel, the dry towel, and just roll it off. And y'all saw how it was. Get a good look at the glue, right? Because I'm probably going to have to do it out the frame. I'm going to do it out the frame and, like, try to get some questions. The hairspray is harmful because the, of the direct contact on on your skin. You can put it on, on hair, but just to apply it, um, we found through time and through uh, study that that is the issue, okay? It's the direct contact of the hairspray on the skin is causing the problem so i'm going to do this kind of like, like down in my lap and try to take some of the questions yep use the liquid gold instead and that's why we did it and that's why we did um made the liquid gold the way we did and even when you see copycat liquid golds the ones that the copycats that are made in china they have the harmful ingredients a lot of the hairsprays that we use are made in china even some of the big companies, big companies, little companies, people are going to do whatever they can do to save money. When you formulate from scratch, that's very expensive, guys. When you formulate from scratch, it's expensive. So when you go overseas, it's a lot cheaper. But a lot of the, they don't have regulations on products that, you know, are harmful, that show up under the uh, radar in the FDA. Sometimes you don't even know what's harmful until a product been out there for a while. But some of these uh, ingredients that we've been talking about lately are known um, irritants. And that's why we don't have them in any of our products. No, you don't. If, you're, if you don't have any hair, you don't need to use a ball cap. Yep, the skin protect is like I try to I try to uh, make it equivalent to a deodorant because I feel like that'll make people want to use it more because sometimes people like to skip steps and that um, skin protect is going to make your install last longer. So people like to hear that the fact that it's going to last longer. But the main thing about that skin protect guys is your body produces sweat that um, when your body produces sweat it's trying to release those toxins from your pores. Those toxins have bacteria in it. So that's going to sit underneath your lace. And you don't want that. Because that could irritate some people. It may not irritate everybody, but because it will irritate some people, that is going to be the issue. Okay? 
don't use the hairspray. The hairspray has the, um, that's why you don't see me using it, guys. For the last couple years, you don't see me using it. Because it has those, um, the DMD in it, and it has a lot of the um, irritants. All right, so we got, we getting it off, right? We got a little bit over here. The official site is uh, on my web. It's in my, the link is in my bio. It's www.thehairdiagram.com. I know the hair. I know. I know. I know. I know. The hairspray is faster. Just like using a microwave to eat out of. I'm trying my best to get away from that. That's not easy. But it's harmful in the end. Like some people's like, well, I ain't never had a problem. Not yet. So what happens with a lot of these um, items that cause problems is over time you'll start to notice it. For some people, they notice it immediately. Hey, Ash, can you come get my camera and charge it? All right, so are you at the shampoo vault? Are you at the, it don't matter, I could use one of the other ones. All right, so if you're on YouTube, because I'm going to have to go to the bowl. If you're on a YouTube, I'm going to ask that you, you know what? I'm going to ask that you go ahead and go to my Instagram. Because I don't think I'm going to make it with two lives. Do you, you don't have to do a ball cap. You see, I don't even have this on for real. I just got it sitting back. I just needed it to have a little scalp, fake scalp right there in that area. Go to my um, Instagram if you're on YouTube, because I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to do both at this time. It's at the hair diagram. 